No problem. Dee, thank you. This morning, the nation continues to mourn the loss of comedian and actor Robin Williams with a personality that simply electrified so many and inspired many current and upcoming comedians that will continue to hit the stage for many years to come. Right now, we're joined by Ryan Jetton. Now, some of you out there may know him better as William Masters. He is a comedian locally here, but now he's spending most of his time as a booking agent. I think we have a picture of you in your altered state when you were uh, William Masters there and, and okay. leading some of the uh, some of the comedians down here on the Gulf Coast. I want to talk to you, Ryan. We talked on the phone a long time last night. We did. There is, uh, there is a lot of stars giving accolades, a lot of comedians, but Robin Williams influenced people from the very start, right down to people on the Gulf Coast getting their first mark in comedy. How has that worked? And, and can, you, can you see a difference when people look at him and, and see his work and, and are influenced by his work? Well, he's a pretty uh, huge, epic figure. You know that, right? I mean, everyone's going crazy about it today. His stand-up career uh, was in the 70s, maybe, he mm -hmm. started out. Mm -hmm. I remember, I think I saw Mork and Mindy first, and then the records, and then all the movies, really, are where I, I, I found out more about him. But as far as the stand-up comedy goes, I think it's pretty, uh, I've seen a lot of comedians on my shows, and no one really is just like him, necessarily, but there's that crop that came up then, Steve Martin, we talked about yeah, it a little bit. Some of those true. guys that sort of opened the doorway for that untethered freedom when they're performing on a stage. That fluidness that he just, you just yeah, go with it. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's sort of controlled, but kind of chaotic too, you know. You know, it obviously is the day after uh, Robin Williams has passed away. His wife talked about that he was dealing with severe depression. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the fact that as a comedian, you're designed to make everybody laugh right. and feel so good, but behind that smile, there could be so much more going right. on. Right, right. Yeah, I think so, and may, I, I'm not an expert on psychology, but I, it could be, you know, it's sort of a defense mechanism maybe, you know, uh, if you can't be happy on the inside, if you make other people happy, I think that helps make you a little more happy. Mm -hmm. It helps you get to that maybe a, a, a brighter path in life maybe. Uh, like I don't know Robin Williams really, I've never met the guy, I don't know what was behind here, but obviously there was a lot of pain, you know, and I think he dealt with it by completely letting that loose on the stage and in a more controlled fashion in his films. When you heard the news, uh, what was your reaction? Uh, I was on, a on the phone with a friend, uh, a friend of mine who's a comedian, and he just said, oh, off topic, did you hear about this? And I was like, and I kind of got chills and kind of went, oh, I think I felt like everyone else who heard it felt, you know. And I felt kind of, it was kind of weird to hear it on the phone and not see it on the computer, you know, on mm -hmm. the TV or anything. So I actually had someone to kind of talk to for half a second, you know. Do you think uh, this will affect the comedy world? I mean, for when you lose someone that great and you start thinking about what they could have done with the rest of their lives, mm -hmm. uh, there, was, there was a lot of talent there, some, maybe some untapped things that we had never seen. Uh, where do we put this? I mean, where, where do we, we house this loss, do you think? I don't, you know, I, I was thinking about this this morning, and, and it's, it is a huge loss, but it's easy to kind of step out and find balance in that if you look at the, the body of work he left, that's an amazing positive thing. So it's a huge loss, but it's, it's in the end, it's a huge gain that he was even here, maybe, you know? Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's a loss for just entertainment and show business, like not just comedy. It's a loss for drama. It's a loss for uh, just art, the arts in general, you know? Yeah, well, well said. Huge thing. Thank you for joining us this morning. We definitely right, thank you. appreciate thank you. Nice meeting you, too. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. and, and check out Open Mic Night oh, at right. Blind we, Mule. We have an open mic tomorrow night at the Blind Mule downtown, and we do a, a, a weekly Saturday show at the Alchemy Tavern across the uh, Sanger Theater. You may see the next Robin Williams. Maybe. Thank you so Maybe. much for being here, thank Ryan. You. Thank you for having All me. Right. Thanks. Well, the free Kenny Chesney concert coming up this weekend that we've been talking about. We're going to tell you what you need to know before you go to the concert. Local 15 News is brought to you by your Gulf South Honda dealers. Chief Meteorologist Derek Beasley on Local 15. Attention Gulf Coast, it's Palmer's Toyota's biggest used car event ever. Ford, Chevys, and of course Toyotas. Over 50 used cars priced under well brand. 50 used under well brand. Up to 70% of original MSRP. Palmer's Toyota has over 30 lenders standing by.